Hi, grade 10 students. My name is Joshua C. Bombita, your student teacher of Cagayan State University under the College of Human Kinetics. Okay, so as you can see on your screen, our topic for today is all about arts of neoclassical period. Okay, um, so first, let me read to you our objectives. Okay, so our objectives for today's lesson class um, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to first identify distinct characteristics of arts during the neoclassical period. Second, appreciate those representative artists during the neoclassical period through their artworks. And lastly, make an artwork that represents neoclassical characteristics. Okay, so before we start our discussion class, first we will be having an activity which you may guess who the different artists are. Okay, so our title, our first activity rather titled Guess Who. Okay, yeah, so the num number one was an influential French painter in the neoclassical style and considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. Okay, I'll give you five seconds to guess who the, is this artist. Okay. If your answer is, how yes, Louis David, you got it right. Okay, so number two. Number two, was a prolific Italian artist who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. Okay? Sino kaya tong artist na to? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. So, if your answer is Antonio Canova, you got it right. Okay? Number three, was the first internationally acclaimed Danish artist. Okay, it will be five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. If your answer is Bertolt Thorvaldsen, you are correct. Okay? So now let's proceed to our topic. Okay, so very good. Um, those are the representative artists during the period of neoclassical era in the different art forms, okay? So, we go now to our lesson proper. So, for our next topic class, we will be discussing rather the characteristics and its background during the neoclassical era. But first, what is neoclassicism? Okay, so as you can see there, the word neoclassic came from the Greek word neos, meaning new. Okay? And the Latin word classicus, which is similar in meaning to the English phrase first class. Okay, so the Western movement in decorative and visual arts was called neoclassicism. Okay, so neoclassicism class interest in classical ideals and forms that um, influence um, European and American society through idea, else politics, and fine arts during the 80th and 90th century. So it also applies to literature class, literature, theater, what else, music, and architecture that were influenced by the classical arts and culture of ancient Greece and ancient Rome. Okay, so do you get my point? So. So the neoclassical movement coincided with the 18th century age of reason, also known as the age of enlightenment. So, ano kaya yung the age of enlightenment? Alam niyo ba class ang nangyari bago magkaroon ng age of enlightenment during that time? So during that time of Roman leaders, um, only the priests had the authority to decide. Okay, so there is no free will but through the revolutionary actions um, led by the different philosophers like Voltaire or what else, Jack, John Locke, also known as the father of liberalism, or the most influential philosopher, 
because of them, nagkaroon ng year of enlightenment. Okay? So, end of separation between the state and the religion. Okay? So, the art style this period was brought about the renewed interest in Greek and Roman classics. So, it also refers to the art forms created after but inspired by the ancient times. So, this period was derived from the classicism movement. Okay, so classicism is the period in which Greek and Roman principles and styles were reflected in society. So, sa classicism, pinaghalo ang Greek principles and Roman principles and both of their styles. So, may classical art class, pieces such as painting, sculpture, and architecture generally portrayed Roman history which elevated the Roman heroes. Okay, so ang pinapakita sa mga masterpieces nila noon ay ang kanilang mga bayani at karanasan. So, now, we proceed to its characteristics. So, first, the portrayal of Roman history. Yeah, I'll give the example. Okay, in portrayal Roman history, I an example by Hakias Luis David, yung the oath of the Horaiti and the abduction of the Sabine women. Yan. Okay, nagpapakita siya ng Roman history during the time. Okay, the second one is formal composition. As you can see here, the dress. Okay, ito. The dress. Ayan, the dress. What else? Um, the background paintings. Ayan. The name of popular architecture detail. Okay. The chair. Nandiyan yung chair. Um, and writing table. Okay. So, as you can see there, no, napaka-formal niya tingnan. Okay. So, that's a formal composition. That's the one example of the paintings during the time with a formal composition okay so the use of the next is the use of the diagonals to show the peak of the an emotion or movement versus a regular movement okay ayan nakikita nyo dyan as you can see there the dead of marat by Hakis david also and psyche awakened by cupid cupid's kiss okay Next one is the local color or all and overall lighting. As you know, di ba ang ganda niya? So the the best example here is the Cornelia pointing to her children's treasure and the death of Socrates. Okay, by J um, by Hakias uh, David. Okay, napakaganda no yung mga uh, kahit local color yung mga local color ang ginamit and the overall lighting so very um elegant to hide in our naked eye. Last one is the using classical J.U. structure. Ayan. Nilagyan ko ng triangle. Bakit? Nagpapakita siya na uh, in the root word J.U. Okay? Nandiyan. The Out of the Variety by J. David also. Okay? So, now. Neoclassicism versus classicism. Okay? If you say neoclassicism class, this is the um, renewed interest in the classical ideas um, and forms that influence European and American society through ideas, politics, and fine arts during the 80th and 90th century, okay? So it also refers to the art forms created after but inspired by the ancient times, okay? So this period class was derived from the classicism movement. So Classicism naman class, this is the period in which Greek and Roman principles and styles were reflected in society. So, as, as we going to um, differentiate the, the two, uh, classicism refers to the art forms produced in antiquity, yung mga antique. Ano yung mga antique? Or inspired by it afterward. While then, uh, classicism refers to the um, art form inspired by ancient times but created later. Okay? So now let's proceed to the neoclassical painting. Yeah. Let's proceed now to neoclassical painting. Neoclassical art is embraced the ideas of order 
and moderation, moderation in which artistic interpretations of classic Greek and Roman history were restored to realistic portrayals. Okay, and so neo classical painters gave great importance to the costumes, costumes rather settings and details of classical subject matter without adding distracting details, but with as much historical accuracy as possible. So. Under the neoclassical paintings, like, there are some neoclassical artists from, uh, from Europe and the United States. Okay. First is Hafiz Louis David during 1748 to 1825. So, Hafiz David Glass Ear was an influential French painter in the neoclassical style and considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. Okay, his subject of painting glass were on in history. Okay, so these are the famous works of of Hakias David. Ayan. So you can see the death of Mara, out of variety on Napoleon crossing the Alps. Okay, yun yung mga sikat na artworks ni Hakias David. Okay, so you will need to familiarize those um, paintings or artworks. Okay. Second one is Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres during 1780 to 1867. Okay, so Ingres was a pupil of Hakias David Glass. Okay, so he was influenced by Italian Renaissance painters like Raphael, um, Nicolas Posin, Botticelli, and his mentor Hakias Louis David. Okay, so his paintings were usually nudes, portraits and myth myth mythological themes okay he was regarded as one of the great exemplars of academic art and one of the finest old masters of his era wow okay so his famous artwork last indian so the portrait of napoleon on the imperial throne okay and the apotheosis of homer okay yan yung pinaka famous artworks ni genagosi dominic ingress during his time Okay, now let's proceed to neoclassical sculpture. Yeah. Neoclassical sculpture class. Um, the neoclassical period was one of the great ages of public sculpture. Okay, so artists looked to Roman styles during the time of Alexander the Great for inspiration as well as to mimic their styles. Okay, so classical sculptures, okay? Nandiyan yung mga sculptors during neoclassical period. First is the Ant si is Antonio Canova. Antonio, Antonio Canova from Italy uh, was a prolific uh, Italian artist and sculpture, sculptor rather who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. Okay, so he opened the idea for portraying discrete sexual pleasure by using pure contours uh, with his mythological um, composition. Okay, so his famous artwork class. Nandiyan, okay, the Psyche Awakened by Cupid's Keys, Washington, Thes Thesus, Thesus Slaying a Centaur. Okay, ayan, o, diba? Mostly nakahabad. Okay, nakanood. Okay, so next one is Bertolt Torvalds time during 1789 to 1838. Okay, so Torvalds was the first internationally acclaimed dance artist. Okay, so he executed sculptures of mythological and religious themes character. Okay, so his famous um sculptures is Christ and the Lion of Lucerne. Okay, Ayan, as you can see, okay, kasi mostly ang sa mga, uh, sa mga gawa nyo is about mythological and religious, okay, nandiyan si Christ, si Cristo, okay, themes character, okay, so now, we we'll proceed to neoclassical architecture, okay, in neoclassical architecture class, 
um, started in the mid 18th century okay so it turned away from the grandeur of Rococo style in the late Baroque okay so in this purest form the classical architecture was a style principally okay so derived from the architecture of classical Greece and Rome and the architectural design of the Italian architecture Andrea Pagliaggio okay there are types of um, is neoclassical architecture okay so first is the temple style second is the Palladian style the last last one is the classical black style okay so now we we'll proceed to the temple style okay in temple styles based on Asian temple uh, Characterized by Paris style and continuous line of columns around the building. You know? As you can see, napalimutan daw yang ng columns. If you know the columns class, yan yung parang um, haligi na yan no, nandito. Okay, so I will. Yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pero madami pa dun sa gilid nito, sa gilid nito. Okay, napalimutan na siya ng mga columns. Okay, so. Um, this um, this architecture uh, architecture pala class is the Pantheon Paris. Okay, so another example, ayan, as you can see, you no, know, sinasabi ko sa inyo na palibutan siya ng column blocks. Okay, so British Museum London by Robert Smirk here and the Lamadine in Paris. Okay, the Lamadine de Paris. Okay, so now we proceed to the Palladian style. Ayan. Palladian style class based on Andrea Pagliado's style of building construction as the feature balustrade which has vertical supports known as the baluster, balusters or spindles. Okay, it's known in Palladian style artist is Robert. Okay, Robert. Ano Pagliado ni Robert? Um, kalimutan ko na. Excuse me, wait. Adam. Okay, so Robert Adam. Okay, this is the another example of Palladian style. Ayan, so the White House. Ano pa? United States Capitol. Okay. So now we proceed to the classical black style. Okay, so. Um, this uh, the building features class a, a rectangular or square a square plan um, with a flat roof and an exterior which in classical details so the exterior features uh, repeated classical patterns or series of arch arches and or columns okay so the overall impression the overall impression of such a building was a huge yeah, as you as you read, as you read here, huge, classically decorated, rectangular blocks. Okay, so classical blocks are aesthetic was also known as the Vux art style. Okay, so since it was developed principally by the French um, Ecole des Beaux Arts School of Fine Arts. Okay, so. Classical block architecture also flourished in the United States, particularly in um, New York. Okay, so these are the famous okay block style, classical block styles. The Library of Saint Genevieve, okay, by Henry Lebrostre, and the Palais Garnier Paris Opera House. Okay, what else? Um, New York Public Library by Carrere and Hastings archi Architectural Firm during 1895. Wow. So, Boston Public Library by Charles Follin Mackin okay, during 1895. Okay, so these all are about uh, uh, neoclassic, uh, art of neoclassical period. Okay, so um, next meeting we will be discussing about the romantic, um, the art of romantic period. Okay, so now, of course, you have an activity. Okay, so this is your activity time. 
Okay, your activity, paint or sketch an illustration showing the ideas of neoclassical paintings. Okay, observe the usage and application of the elements of arts. Okay, so our, your materials, uh, nagagamitin niya is Oslo paper, bad paper, basta malinis na papel, art and coloring materials. Okay, so after you draw, um, sagutin niyo ang reflection. Okay, so what is the subject of your artwork? Okay, second, why did you choose this subject? Okay, how did you apply the elements of arts as lines, colors, and texture? Okay, so I know you know what are the elements of arts. And what did you feel doing your artwork? Okay. So, this is the rubrics. You need to follow. Ayan, so makita nyo. Okay. Quality of artwork, visual impact, neatness. Yan. Yung tatlong criteria po natin. Yeah. Okay, this is 15 points. This is your quiz. Okay. Or your assignment. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something. And stay safe, good luck, and thank you.